Hello YouTube, hello. I'm doing this upside down again, right? It's cold, old age, it happens to us all, even to cameras. Just come out the uh, cinema there, and uh, just seen that film, which everybody, fucking everybody's talking about. I must start with saying, I like to get like little clips when I'm in there, of the beginning, and little bits in the beginning, and the end credits a little bit there as well, but the staff were on to me in there, so I had to put my camera away right from the word go. One of the staff actually came right up to me right at the beginning. Uh, I got a little bit, but I like to get the uh, the actual billboard at the beginning where it stakes the title of the film, but I pressed my camera to record too soon. I thought that was coming up, pressed it too soon, and the staff got on to me straight away, so I couldn't even get that. I put up what I could anyway. Gutted about that, really gutted about that, because all my other uh, movie reviews, I've always, I've always got little clips. Ah, it's the first one, never mind. Yeah, just missed the views of sunset coming over the four bridges there, coming over one of the bridges there on my way home, as usual, my route home. It was so windy, I would not have, you would not have heard me, but you can see behind me that the sun is still setting. Right, the movie. I will say, Martha Kent, she shed 20 years, man. I found that was the most striking thing out of everything, which nobody has touched upon in all the reviews I've seen and heard and read, etc. No one has touched on that. Superman's mum, she seems to have, she seems to have lost, shed 20 years. She seems to be walking around like a young woman, you know, she seems to have got rid of those crackety hips and owl sticking stiff arthritic shoulders. She, she, all of a sudden she's got the stature of a 40 year old instead of really in effect having this, of such of a 70 year old like she did have in Man of Steel and which really she should have had. She, it was, it did, it took me right out of the movie and it was extremely off-putting the fact that all of a sudden Superman's mum is walking around like a young woman. A hair, one can change one's hairstyle, one can change one's makeup, but even the CG to, even the uh, makeup effects to her face uh, had been removed, even the makeup effects which were put on her, on the actress, Diane Lane, in the first one had been removed. So revealing her youthful look um, of, of said actress. I found that really off-putting um, shame. I would actress. I found that really off-putting um, shame. I would, again, I, I would laugh about it if it wasn't off-putting. The fact that Superman's mum all of a sudden has, is walking around, behaving, her mannerisms, everything about her, is 20 of 20 years younger uh, why on earth the producers have decided to do that i don't know uh, it, it they've done it to make her more of a sympathetic character so when she's strapped up in the movie when when she's been taken hostage the audience can have more empathy for her for some reason movie makers today don't think that the audience Held much worth in the elderly. Uh, that's what it boils down to, ultimately, why I think it struck me. Um, the elderly don't have much worth in Hollywood. Is that a fact, Armando? I don't know. Well, I think that's why the filmmakers made her to look younger. Uh, ridiculous. She's, uh, she's supposed to be an elderly woman, so please keep her so. Uh, what, a bit, what hasn't been said? The 3D, again, I, I'll say about the 3D, which I've again not heard anyone touch on. The 3D was, it was obvious you could tell the movie was converted. Uh, the 3D was great, it was great. Um, within the wide shots, the panning shots, it offered great spatiality within the 3D. 3D offered great spatiality. Um, 
it was converted. You could tell it was converted. Um, you could tell it wasn't a movie filmed in 3D. It will, it will be fine to buy uh, a standard Blu-ray when it comes out. It will be fine to watch it at home in the 2D form and it will be fine. But I must say the 3D, it really did help the cinema experience. Uh, toward the end when the, abom when the abomination, when uh, Doomsday, when Superman's Doomsday, when they were fighting, Doomsday toward the end, that's when the 3D really did pronounce itself. Uh, it offered that's where it offered the greatest spatiality, uh, absolutely fabulous spatiality. The 3D offered, absolutely marvelous. Um, wh when um, Superman and Batman were having their little mini confrontation, when the camera was looking over the shoulder of one of them onto the other. You know, it gave the 3D gave that wonderful sense of realism as if you were standing there. It gave that great sense of dimension to the to the affairs, to the effects. I will, even though it was a a conversion, I will put thumbs up in regards to the 3D. It's wonderful. Uh, the audio presented within the cinema is gonna be it's gonna differ from one to the other. The better your cinema complex, the better your your cinema experience is going to be regarding both audio and vis video. Uh, mine was sound so so I paid six pounds heroes found within this movie. It's great. The narration the narrative was fab throughout, well followable. Uh, if you're a fan, then if you're a if you're a diehard comic book fan, then you're obviously going to pick flaws within it, aren't you? Uh, I had a wonderful experience there. Wonderful, it was great, it was great. Lois Lane, I thought, was not shoehorned in. I thought she was only going to be in it for like a tiny little bit here and there, but she was integral. Uh, the bit with the uh, with the the Krypton's the the Kryptonites the sphere the, the the sphere the javelin made of Kryptonite uh, where it was thrown down a water hole and then it had to go and get retrieved and then she was in jeopardy when the uh, debris fell on top of the water hole and she couldn't get out and Superman oh God had to go and leave bloody Wonder Woman to fight off off uh, Doomsday, but then he offered Wonder Woman the chance to get her lasso into play then. So it did, it just found a pound coin, look at that. Woo, just found a pound coin, yes. So my movie experience was now £5.59, not £6.59. In fact, it was five forty nine. it was. So now it's brought it down to four forty nine. Ah, I just found a pound on the floor. <laughs> Because then, as I was saying, it offered Wonder Woman the chance to bring her truthless Sue in then. Because when the TV series, it was it was a lasso, it was a lasso she used to get the truth out of out of the criminals, wasn't it? She it gave when she was left on her own, it gave her the chance to bring her lasso lasso out then, didn't it? I'm gonna have to get back on the prom. The traffic's gonna be too loud. Uh, yeah, it, it it was. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. It, I think I thought none of the characters are shoehorned in. I, it, it was it was wonderful to see a lot more of Zod than I thought I was going to. And the bit with the uh, with the Genesis Chamber and with uh, with Lex bringing the corpse of Zod into into said chamber. And then seeing the intricacies working of the Genesis Chamber to create from the blood of Lax. I thought that was wonderful. <laughs> I just thought you'd see the, like, the odd shot of Zod again. Uh, like as if it was, the corpse was being presented and, you know, when that was it. But, and it, you saw loads of Zod and I thought that was great. Uh, I could tell in the trailer that, that Doomsday was a creation from Zod. I could tell the, the mannerism of Doomsday was of, of Zod. It was wonderful to see him still in the, in the sequel. It was great. 
Uh, yeah, Lex himself. I'll finish up here by saying about Lex. Uh, I think the actor, the player playing the part of Lex, uh, did it based on Gene Hackman's Lex Luthor from the Christopher Reeve Superman movies. I don't think he was deliberately going out of his way to be all these multi-dimensional psychotic personalities. Uh, uh, circa uh, uh, Heath Ledger's Joker from Nolan's Dark Knight. I don't think so. I think, honestly, he took his inspiration, he took his creation from Gene Hackman's Lex Luthor because I was looking away when he was on screen and it and I being of one who grew up watching uh, Christopher Reeves movies it was just like Gene Hackman was there on screen uh, uh, the th it was theatrical the surround sound was extremely theatrical it had a great surround presence within the cinema it gave a real three three-dimensional theatrical feel it was wonderful yeah, really love that. Over and out.